Welcome to this tutorial on the thick filaments of our skeletal muscle. And we learned a little bit about our thick filaments in our tutorial on sarcomeres, but we didn't really go too in depth with the structure of them. And before we get started, let's see what we've got up on the screen here. So we have a whole sarcomere, and we have a thick filament here, and the individual myosin subunits, so they're going to make up that thick filament. And also over here we have a thick and thin filament together, the thick filament being made of myosin and the thin filament being made of actin. And I've just colored all of them in here, so we have all of our thick filaments and myosin in red, and all of our actin and thin filaments in blue on the sarcomere. Now our individual myosin molecules really only have three areas that we need to know about the first of which being the heads. So each myosin molecule is going to have two heads and I'll point them out here. So we've got heads here, heads here on the thick filaments, and there's going to be two of them per myosin. So they're all going to be wrapped together within that thick filament. The next area we have is the neck, and if we have two heads we're also going to have two necks as well per myosin, and on each neck of those myosin molecules we have two wrapped polypeptides that we refer to as the light chains, and I'm just drawing where all of those light chains would be wrapped now around the necks. And the long neck region of myosin is going to help by acting as a lever during contraction and cross bridge formation. And I'm just putting up here again that we'll have two polypeptide light chains wrapped around each of those necks. And the last region we're going to find on the individual myosin molecules is the tail. And the tail is going to help act as an anchor to the thick filament. And we can see it here, the tail's going to be uh, coiled and in an alpha helical shape. So if we have all of these coiled tails of individual myosins linking together within the thick filament, we are going to be forming a very solid structure, which is exactly what we need to perform the task of muscle contraction, right? And I'll just draw here again on our thick filament where we're going to find all of these tails all linking together to create this large structure that is the thick filament. Now, when I mentioned earlier that we had two heads on each of our myosin molecules, I didn't really go too much into detail past that because it's the most important part and I wanted to save it for last. So on our myosin heads, we're going to have two binding sites per head. So two binding sites per head, so four per myosin. And the first of these two binding sites that I'm just highlighting now on each head is an ATP binding site. And this ATP binding site is where we're going to be performing ATP hydrolysis. And the second binding site is for actin, which I'm highlighting in orange, and I'll actually just outline it in yellow as well so it shows up a bit better. So we have this actin binding site as well, which is going to interact with our actin on its myosin binding site. Now let's recap what we know about myosin. So we've got this individual myosin molecule, and this myosin is going to be made from two individual polypeptide chains, so it's a protein, and it may also have the two polypeptide chains around each neck and it's going to be a motor protein because it's involved in movement and it's powered by the hydrolysis of ATP, which is going to be at that ATP binding site. Now the only thing we really haven't discussed about the thick filament as yet is this other protein called Titan. Now Titan I'll just mention really quickly because we're mainly focusing on myosin here. Titan is an elastic protein that's going to run through the core of our thick filament. So it's going to extend from our Z-disc all the way through the core of the thick filament to help stabilize it and support it. 
So we can see it here starting at the Z disk and then we'll run through the middle or through the core all the way to the A band in the middle there. And I'll just draw it on our large thick filament as well. So right through the middle at the core, we're going to have this Titan elastic protein that's going to be helping support our thick filament. So we know all there is to know about our thick filaments now. We know it is comprised of many individual myosin proteins all linked together. And we also know about each binding site within the myosin. Now in the next video, we will discuss actin in the same way before we move on to contraction and how myosin and actin interact together. As always, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.